Hey guys, welcome back to another Unity tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about triggers. Uh, last video I talked about collisions, and triggers are very similar, but there's certain situations where you want to use triggers over colliders or vice versa. So I'm going to explain exactly what they are. So what we've got here is pretty much the same scene as the one with the collisions. And if we look at the player, I've switched out my collisions script with the trigger script. And the cubes, these platforms here, we're actually just going to change those to triggers. Now when we play, you can see right away the difference between collisions and triggers. Doesn't collide with them at all, it just goes straight through them. And if we look at the console output here, you can look at the very beginning, it says entered trigger, entered environment object trigger, and then inside environment object trigger all this time, and then exited, and then entered again to the second one. And we can just open up the script here in Visual Studio and look at it real fast. It looks very similar to the collision script that I had, and it is. We have three methods, and they are pretty much exactly the same as the collisions. On trigger enter, on trigger stay, on trigger exit, and they do exactly the same thing as the collisions. So what we can see here is we've got a we've got a couple of these things that we don't need really. So when it enters, it'll say entered. When it's as long as it's still inside that trigger during the frame, it'll say inside. And then when it exits, it'll say exit. And like the collision script, one of the things we can do here is we can go ahead and see what this does. We're going to destroy the platforms as soon as we hit them, pretty much. But it's going to look different than the collisions because there are no collisions. So actually, our player just falls straight down. As soon as it hits it, it deletes it. So this is good for if you are going to hit something and you don't want there to be any physics involved or anything, any uh, kickback on your player, you just want it to affect that other thing, it's good to use a trigger. Or if you want to just destroy it right away without having any collision happen or any movement, triggers are the way to go. More often, triggers are used for things like if you've ever been playing a game and you walk into a room and the music changes or a cutscene happens or something like that. As soon as you walk through that room, you are hitting a trigger. You are activating something in the code that changes what's going on. Triggers are used for a lot of scene changes. They're used for playing audio, certain audio in certain areas, changing lighting, just changing a lot of things. So when you reach a certain area, something changes. If we go back and instead of doing this, we'll just do this because the on trigger stay is going to look exactly the same and I explained what that does with collisions. So we're just going to see what happens with this. Might be a little hard to see, but yeah. So as soon as it leaves the area of that trigger, of that platform, it destroys the object. So they act in a similar manner, but there's several instances where you might want to use a trigger instead of a collision, or a collision instead of a trigger. It all just depends, and uh, you should just use your best judgment. So I'm going to put a link to this script in the description so you can get it. And if you have any questions, you can leave your comments down below, and I'll get back to you. If not, then I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.